Jordan find themselves in the driving seat over in Group E, of course, at the expense of South Korea. Can they, of course, they go through as group winners? And can Bahrain join them? We're going to take a little look next. Game another prediction video today. Look forward to match number three over in Group E. That's right, in the Asian Cup. And we'll get to that in a second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe and bang the all things Asian Cup related, blah 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 related, world football related. We're all here, boys. Under one Ruski. That's right, Jordan topped the charts right here right now, and a win will guarantee them top spot in a very very spicy Group E. We'll take a look at the situation in a second. Big big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. Do you know who you are? And again, if you knew, smash your subscribe. Your one stop shop for the Asian Cup continues. Of course, here we go. Uh, breaking up this one. And of course, the latest, biggest over in Group E. Let's remind ourselves of these two nations who will be locking horns, of course, over at the Khalifa International Stadium on the 25th of Jan over in Group E. Uh, let's remind ourselves of Jordan and how we got to this stage with them. Qualifies third round Group A winners on the 14th of June 2022. Uh, of course, uh, fifth finals for them. 2019 was the last quarterfinals, though, back in 2004 and 2011. Husan Umatu is your, star, your manager there with Musa Atamari, your star man. 80 to 1 to go the distance. Of course, last 16 was my prediction. And of course, right here, right now, they're looking pretty good for that. Uh, of course, with four points, which should be enough for be at least the last uh, one of the third place best teams, of course. So if it was to fall uh, out of favour here, uh, Jordan should have enough in the tank to get into the last 16, of course. Picking up a big 4 new in over Malaysia, a monstrous 2-2 draw against South Korea, and now all set up for a match against Bahrain. And uh, a win will guarantee, I think, top spot. I think uh, I think goal difference might come into a fact. I don't know about that, but uh, they're in command of their own destiny as well. Let's take a look at the squad then for uh, for uh, Jordan. we got to Abu Laya between the sticks, Abu Hashish, Nashib, al Jaden, Haddad there, of course, al Rasabadab, Ratib, Al-Maradi, Al-Tamari, Olwan and Ananyat, of course, up top. It's familiar names to us all from Jordan, of course. What about Bahrain, though? They come to this also within a chance of getting into those last 16 spots. Third round, Group E winners. Uh, 14th of June, 2022. Seventh finals for, for, for them. 2019 was the last. Fourth place, though, back in 2004. Fourth place back in 2004. Juan Antonio Pizzi is your manager. Ali Madden, of course, 101 to go the distance. Group stage exit was my prediction for Bahrain. Let's take a look then, shall we, at, of course, how we got to the stage with Bahrain. Of course, they're coming at you with, uh, not too shabby, three points on the board so far out of a possible six. Uh, they did lose in the preseason game against Australia and, of course, followed that up with a loss against one of the heavy hitters, South Korea. But they did must, they picked up a big win against Malaysia, lastminute.com winner as well, uh, to set them up now with the potential to qualify even as a group winner, of course, I think it's going to be a big too far for them to qualify as 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 Group E winners. But they're separate, they're definitely in a conversation to be one of the last six uh, in the last sixteen as a third place team. Of course, if they are to beat Jordan, guess what? They could be in the conversation as a runners up as well. So let's take a look at, of course, the squad. Uh, Jaffa between the sticks got Adel, El Hayem, Bakria, Ugama, Al Shaki, Al Madin, Ali Harden, Mahoun, Yusuf Hilal, and Al Azwad, uh, to name but a few. Let's take a look at the numbers then between these two sides. That's the public vote. We'll get into that just yet. But Jordan and Bahrain are familiar foes, of course, over the last 10 or so years. They each other seven times. Two wins for Jordan, three for Bahrain. Two draws, of course. The biggest win for Jordan uh, was a 2-1 win. In fact, they just got three goals, of course, in those seven games. 0.43 goals a game on average. Bahrain Bahrain, though, on the flip side, are looking at 3 0 win the biggest score, six goals in total, 0.86 goals a game on average. They're into this on 50% form for them right now, winning three and losing three over the last six games. Jordan on the flip side, just 42% form for them, just one defeat, though, in the last four. And, of course, we'll fancy the chances in this one. Now, these two sides, like I said, have been familiar foes, uh, but they most recently played each other back in March 2021. It was a 2-1 win for Jordan. That was in, in a bit of a friendly, uh, of course. Uh, and, of course, a win for Bahrain was not too far away either back in August 2019. The public vote is still very, very very fresh, of course, about an hour or so old, with 61% have gone in favour of Jordan, 70% have gone Bahrain. The draw is at 22% as well. So quite tight amongst the bookie, uh, on, on the public vote. The, the bookies, though, uh, if we, of course, have a look at this one, quite fresh. 21 to 20 is your, is your Jordan, 14 to 5 is your Bahrain. Uh, of course, 11 to 5 is the draw. So Jordan is, is fancied by the bookies here. I don't know which way. I can't, I can't remember which way I went on this one. I think it's quite tight. Uh, I think I might have even... No, it's not tight. I've gone with a 3-0 win for Jordan. Is that what I've gone with? I don't believe it. Let me know, of course, your thoughts and opinions about that. I'm going to stick to it, though. I think we're going to go with a 3-0 win for Jordan. I think their, their result against uh, Korea uh, has given themselves a new lease of life. 
and I think uh, Bahrain, very fortunate to get that result against Malaysia, which of course just indicates just how weak they are uh, in the grand scheme of things. So I do think Jordan will put Bahrain to the sword. Is it going to be a game over for Bahrain? We'll have to wait and see, of course. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, catch you later for the next one, whenever that is, of course. Uh, and of course, I'm sure we'll see Jordan in the last 16.